Thanks for joining us. I'm Alana Quillen. Here's where we begin. KTVE is your local election headquarters, and today much of Northeast Louisiana is heading to the polls to vote on a number of items, including the runoff election for the 5th congressional seat. That New Orleans detectives are now looking for two people of interest in the shooting death of a toddler. Team police versus team fire department at the Battle of the Badges last night, all for charity, and only one could come out on top. The Target store's data breach seems to be growing. It's possible hackers have tapped into a database of people who don't even shop at Target. We could be talking upwards of 110 million people. NBC's Katie Turr reports. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alana Quillen. Our top story tonight, the Madison Parish Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting at a club last night, leaving six people wounded. It happened around 3 a.m. This story is buzzing across the nation this weekend. A storm of controversy swirling in Dallas around a permit to hunt and kill an endangered animal. NBC's Janet Shamlian reports. Meanwhile, Washtenaw Parish Sheriff's deputies are investigating a murder in Monroe. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alana Quillen. This morning, Senator Mary Landrieu paid a visit to the Monroe Civic Center as the city continues to play host to the leaders of cities and towns from across the state. That's our top story tonight. 700,000 people sitting in the dark and waking up to the dark. Many people in Washtenaw Parish dropped off their recycled items at the Monroe Convention Center this morning. KTVE 10's Tiffany Liu reports on many that are working together to make the city a little greener. All right, before we sign off, what does your name mean? Well, for one Alabama newborn, it's his family's dedication to their favorite college football team. They named their newborn son Crimson Tide. Mm. The couple says they thought of the name as soon as they found out they were having a boy, and it didn't take long before their name choice was the hot topic on social media, newscasts, and websites across the country, igniting a firestorm of reaction, most of which Crimson's parents have tried to brush off. You know, I think a uh, comedian by the name of uh, Louis C.K. said it best. There should be a couple of rules when it comes to naming your child. You can name them anything. Crimson, All vowels. Crimson is not that bad this of a name. This is great news. Tied. I mean, now I can name my son who dad. H-U-D-H-A-T. Really? Wow. You probably can. Who well, dad? You, I can't wait. I don't know. It's, it's, Who Williams? It's like Kanye West. Joining us after the game, I'm Alana Quillen. Here's our top story this evening. Today, two inmates escaped Angola Prison in West Feliciana Parish, only to be put right back in the slammer. Prison officials say the inmates escaped before 9 this morning and were taken back into custody about two hours later. The inmates are Melvin Johnson, a convicted rapist from Orleans Parish, and Aaron Francois, a convicted murderer from Lafayette Parish. The two were cellmates serving life sentences without the possibility of parole. They escaped the exercise yard after they broke through the bottom of a fencing area. They used, they used work gloves and a blue jean jacket to get through razor wire on a fence. After surrendering in a wooded area outside the prison, both men were found to have a large amount of pepper and 30 bags of peanuts. Officials say they used pepper to prevent the canine unit from tracking their scent, the peanuts, for survival food. On another note, the Farmerville community is planning a benefit honoring the legacy of longtime Union Parish Sheriff Bob Buckley. The benefit is next Saturday morning, September 28th, at the Willie Davis Recreation Center in Farmerville. It was originally meant to help pay for Buckley's medical expenses, but since he lost his battle to cancer last Tuesday, we're told the benefit will now be to help his family pay off those medical bills and set up a scholarship fund in the sheriff's name. KTVE 10's Nick Lawton will have more tonight at 10. The suspended mayor of Jonesboro has spent the weekend in jail. Leslie Thompson was arrested Friday morning after comments he made to our news station earlier last week. KTVE 10's Ashley Johnson explains. That was Ashley Johnson reporting that hearing is set for tomorrow morning at 9.30. Well, here's a heads up for motorists in the Twin Cities this week. The Endem Bridge connecting downtown Monroe and West Monroe is scheduled to be closed tomorrow. That's Monday, September 23rd. It'll be closed from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. for routine maintenance. Also on Monday, a two-month tax amnesty program starts in Louisiana. It allows delinquent taxpayers and non-filers the chance to bring their accounts up to date. All overdue taxes can be paid with a waiver of all penalties and 50% of the interest Owed. The program will run from September 23rd through November 22nd. For more on the tax amnesty, log on to our website, marklemis.com. Well, coming up after the break, a little Louisiana girl makes a presidential friend, and she's now an internet sensation because of it. Details are just ahead right here on KTVE.